and throughout five or six videos I posted last week about finding the area of triangles. And we learned that the general formula of finding the area of a triangle is actually equal to half times base times the perpendicular height on that base. In this case here, when we read the question, A is equal to B to C. So all sides in this triangle are equal, which means that this triangle is an equilateral. So this is point A, point 0.8 meter, and the angle that is opposite to that one side, to that one side, we call it as A capital. If this is all B capital, which is, so, which must be 60 degrees, and the opposite side to uh, that angle is this B small, which is also equal to 0.8 as per the question. And if this is C capital as an angle, then the opposite side to the angle is AB, which is C small, and it's equal to 0.8. So when all sides are equal, this triangle is an equilateral, so each angle is equal to 60 degrees, as we can see. So AB is equal to side BC is equal to side CA, and each is equal to 0.8 meter, as per the question. This triangle ABC is an equilateral, so angle A is equal to angle B is equal to angle C, and each is equal to 60 degrees. Now, we said in order to calculate the area of any triangle, we need the base. So if we consider CA, the, link, the, the side, or side CA, or we can call it side AC, as the base, which is equal to 0.8 meters, so we know the base, we must find the perpendicular height, which is from the apex down to the base, and it is vertical or perpendicular on it. We can't take BA, we can't take BC, because they are slant heights. What we need is BD, because it is perpendicular, it creates the 90 degree with base CA or AC. In order for us to calculate this, we are going to consider triangle CDB, or we call it triangle BDC. So, in order to find this little angle in here, Angles in a triangle, they add up to 180. So 180 minus the two known angles, which is 90 and 60, minus the sum of the two known angles, 90 and 60, we're going to find angle CBD, which is 30 degrees. Now we're going to apply the sign rule on this triangle, BDC. And the side rule states that side BC, the opposite angle to side BC is angle BDC, which is equal to 90. So, sine of angle BDC, which is equal to sine of 90. And BC is equal to 0.8. Is equal to, let's carry on is equal to CD, side CD, which is unknown, over the angle, the angle that is opposite to side CD is angle 30, or we call it, which we call angle CBD. So side CD over sine of angle CBD. And if we carry on, side BD, this side which is unknown as well, the angle that is opposite to this side 
is angle B C D. So angle B D over sine of angle B C D. So side B D over angle of or, or over sine of angle 60. So let's substitute in this formula or the sine rule. So BC is 0.8 over the opposite angle to BC is the 90 degree. So sine of 90 is equal to CD is unknown. The angle that is opposite to side CD is the 30 degrees. So CD over sine of 30 is equal to side BD is unknown. And we want to call it H here. So H over the angle that is opposite to side H is angle 60. So H over sine of 60. And since we want to find H in here, then we're going to take the first and the last fraction as following. Let's write them next to each other and let's apply cross multiplication. When you do so, H is your unknown. So you're going to say H is equal to fraction line. What is H multiplied by? It's multiplied by sine of 90. And then, so sine of 90 is your denominator. And the other two numbers, which are 0.8 and sine of 60, are going to go up as numerators multiplied by each other. So this is H. This is ready to be inserted in the calculator, and if you do so, you're going to end up with H is equal to 0.693 meter, and this is correct to three significant figures. I always like to mention more than one way to find the unknown in any mathematical problem. So, another way to find it, if you take the exact same triangle, BDC, and if you want to look at, we, all angles are known in this triangle. One side is known, and you want to find side BD. So, if you consider this angle, this given angle, which is the 60 degree angle, based on this angle, BC, which is 0.8, which is equal to 0.8 meter, represents the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle because the hypotenuse is always right across the 90 degree angle. And according to the given angle 60, BD is the opposite side. So if the angle is known, the opposite side to the angle is not known and the hypotenuse is known, and we want to find this opposite side. So we are going to apply the sine rule. So you're going to say sine of 60 is equal to side BD over the hypotenuse, which is 0.8. So you're going to say sine of 60 is equal to H over 0.8. So H is going to be 0.8 times sine of 60. And if you try it, you must end up with the exact same answer. So you can use one of the two methods and that is perfectly okay. So we found the height, which is equal, as we mentioned previously, 0.693. And the base is known, so we can calculate the area in here uh, using the following formula, which is half times base times the perpendicular height on that one base. This is the area of the triangle. So after we write the general formula, we substitute in it. The base is equal to 0.8 and the perpendicular height is 0.693. If you substitute it and you insert this in the calculator, you're going to end up with area of the triangle equals to 0.277 meter squared. Another way to calculate the area of this triangle is by using another formula, 
which is half times side one in that triangle times side two in this triangle times sine of the angle between the two sides. So, if you say that CB is side 1, which is equal to 0.8. CB is the first side in this triangle, which is equal to 0.8. The second side is CA, which is equal to 0.8. So, this is the second side. And the area in between, which is given to us in the question, because they told us that this is an equilateral, is 60. So, you're going to say half times side 1 times side 2 times sine of the angle between the two sides. When you substitute in this formula, you're going to say half times 0.8 times 0.8 times sine of 60. Please try to solve it using this second method that I have just explained and try to compare it with this method and the answer that you get. And you must end up with the exact same answer. Otherwise, there must be something wrong with what we did. So I'm going to thank you so much for watching, sharing, and subscribing to my YouTube channel.